yeah. Okay, let me welcome you officially. You are a songstress. Uh, are you nominated for Grammys and stuff? Yeah, the Grammys are around the corner, huh? Yeah. Come on, tell me. I actually did win with um, Chance the Rapper. I wrote on a song um, on his album, um, The Coloring Book. And yeah, it's called uh, Special. Okay. Well, you are that. Let me welcome Thank to the you. show El Varner. Hello. Yay. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so yes. You're used to these applause, but you're a little shy. A little bit. No? Am I? A I bit. am. I am. Because here's the thing: your your art is your passion, right? Mm-hmm. Talking on a microphone may not be, right? I feel I feel that way. I had to get up to speak today before a group of people. And I'm like, this ain't my thing. I do this thing. This mic thing is my thing. Right. Just speaking to you people is not my thing. I think part of it is like just getting my bearings. It's been quite a, a minute since I was really, you know, like I put out my album in 2012. So this is a blessing for sure to be coming back on cycle with a new song and just, you know, doing my thing so the new song is called poor me yeah p-o-u-r yes not poor poor p-o-o-r well i say poor me now i'm crying and saying poor me so poor me one more because it's like poor me i should have um you know i should have taken advantage of having you like it's basically like you put somebody in the friend zone and then you regret it Cause now they've moved on with someone else and you're like, yo, I made a mistake. Like, so are you writing from experience? Oh, I write, (laughs) I do. I write from experience. I also, I'm very like attentive. I, I people watch, I listen to stories. I listen to my friends. I watch a lot of movies. Some of my songs, like my earlier songs before I was ever in love, I would, they were all love songs. It was just, so what were you watching? (sighs) rom-coms a lot of rom-coms <laughs> what's your favorite um one of my favorites is uh i mean of course well this is not really a rom-com but loving basketball it's oh. like one i mean but it's, it's not you know it definitely it's, is it a romantic some there's some comedic dramedy. moments yeah it's a rom drum. yeah rom drum. um but then there were also like the little teeny bop movies like um 10 things i hate about you or um how to lose a guy in 10 days, like that kind of stuff. I was into it. <laughs> so you grew up in a musical household. Your, yes. Was it your dad sang back up for Barry White? My mom. Your mom sang back up for Barry yes. White. Was she one of the Glodine? <laughs> you remember Glodine? Of course, you probably don't no. remember because you weren't no. born then. No. How young are you? No, don't answer that because okay. I don't want to feel any ways about that. But so <laughs> your mom, are there pictures in the house with uh, Barry White and all that? I I'm actually was supposed to. I've been terrible lately with my socials, but I was going to post a picture of me and Barry when I was a little girl um, because I would go to his concerts you know that was my mom's job and love he, what was it love unlimited <sighs> I've yeah no it was, yeah. I think it was love unlimited and but his concerts were very sexual El Varner. Yo, like very I just listen <laughs> I was a very sharp young lady and I was like He's really finessing, like my tongue. I wanna feel your body. Like he was really no, saying the, some yes, stuff. Yes, he was saying some things. That's he what I'm like. How young things. were you? Um, probably like eight or nine. Yeah. But um, hey, You're calling child services. You no stop. <laughs> but he was so he was so generous, and he was like, I I'm from a Cape Verdean family on my mom's side. So for people who don't know, Cape Verdean is an island off the coast of Africa. Yep, West yes, Africa, Africa, yep. y'all. And like Cape Verdeans are mostly in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, or Boston Oakland. area, right? Yeah, so we come out like in the by the thirties and forties, like everywhere we go, we roll deep. So he would always let my mom have like twenty tickets, you know, when she did a Boston show. That was so nice. They used to have the tour books back then, you know, with the every person that was in in the tour with their name and their room and just it's it's cool to look at that stuff and 
know that my mom was a part of that legacy. And Barry White was one of the first artists that kind of like owned himself. You know, mm. like he wasn't, uh, he was somebody that understood the business of, of things. If, mm. if I'm remembering correctly, Barry White was that guy, you know, was the oldest Redding, of course. Yeah. And Barry White and ownership, you know, a lot of um, artists didn't own their own masters. They didn't own, own their own music. And, and he fed a lot of people because mm. he had a big orchestra. And, yes. he, you know, he made sure that people were taken care of. So as much as the, 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 the deep, rich voice right you know and the all of the love songs a lot of people were probably born um to barry white their parents having sex to his music <laughs> there was a, a commitment to his community that i think mm. people don't talk enough about when they talk about barry white mm. yeah I, I can feel all that like he just he he gave so much he really did so i heard you know you wanted to come in not just to talk about poor me Mm -hmm. uh, which I'm appreciative of. And that's Wale mm -hmm. on with you. Mm -hmm. um, what what other songs are on this album? Is this the name of the album? Elevation. 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 Oh, that makes sense because you know? your name is L. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> All right. Uh, for you, th this this space in music, what mm -hmm. is it that you want to accomplish? Because I know you're committed to the music. I am. And, and honestly, something you just talked about, the ownership and the business side, I think is difficult for any artist, you know, whether you start as a child and you just simply want to sing or you simply want to write music. Once you're in it, it's not that simple. It's actually very difficult, very challenging. And I, it, 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 a lot of people are not able to um, always make it through and so I you know thank God thank God there's God <laughs> thank you thank yes, you God because um, <laughs> when it you know when it gets tough I just keep remembering like okay this is his this is all part of his plan right you got to trust him now and you got to just keep moving forward and remember the reason why you're doing this I've always as a black female I wanted to contribute to music um vocally lyrically musically i i i just think it's important i do you seem re really grounded you know there's a there's a wave I, I often say you know young people the millennials i don't know what i hate the labels but the young people are going to save us it's like there's a sensibility um among them that was kind of missing in between mm. my parents generation and my generation and coming up like kids are more conscious of everything mm. you know even like ariana grande clapping back to the grammys recently it was like oh she could do that because she owns herself she's like right. no you're not gonna lie on me and this is what really happened and i wish you luck and she was very mm -hmm. gracious about mm -hmm. it i want everyone to be successful and i'm happy that i was nominated and i'm you know i hope i win but this is what happened and mm -hmm. the the agency mm -hmm. i was like Yes, because yeah. she doesn't have to bow to anyone because mm -hmm. she owns herself and mm -hmm. she's, you know, quite successful. And I want that for everybody yeah. to be able to do their art their way and not yeah. have to capitulate to somebody else's whims because they need that check. Yes. Do you worry about the, the money or the need for money in this space? <laughs> Listen, um, I was thinking about this earlier. It's funny you ask because I've. I've never been motivated by money, but when I look back, I'm like, okay, that's cute and all, but you need money to live. Rent is not free. And like, there's so many things I've done that I was never paid for. And I, you know, I was like, whatever, I would do this any day anyway. But now as I'm getting older, I'm like, you have to be a businesswoman. You have to understand what it is you're doing, why, who it's for. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking care of business. So um, there will be <laughs> some changes in the way I move Good. moving Good. forward. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think we shame people because I even mm. remember being young doing books for like no money. Like no, I mean, people were getting tens of thousands of dollars, hundred thousand dollar checks for books that I got peanuts for, and I wow. think back on that now because I was just so happy to be in a room. Right. You know, you're in your twenties. You're like, I just, I got my name on a book. Like, yeah. Okay, but you d weren't able to set a legacy when a, a person, you know, who's not as good as you are, actually got ten times more money right. to do a lesser product. Right. Never again. Right. But we have to ask for the things we want, and we have yeah. to demand value for ourselves first. Yes. You know. Yes. So somebody brought a guitar in. Is this for you? Are you, are you gonna is. play? Or is he gonna play? Look, Let he's looking. He's looking nervous. <laughs> you want to know if his tune? Is yeah. this your guitar? It is. My you, guitar. Do you travel with it? 
I do. I do. I'm a little um, addicted. So you're actually a real mu- mu- musician. I am. I, I love that. Uh oh. We're gonna get. We're gonna laugh. get a little I got something. The tuner. I'm writing my phone. Look, she, she. You travel with a tuner? Yeah. I mean, the worst thing would be for it to be out of tune. Oh, you know what? What? We might need the mic to be down there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that... When did you start playing the guitar? Around 13. And why this and not the piano or? You know, what my dad told me recently is that, because he's a piano player, that um, he didn't want to be selfish and, like, push for me to be just like him. He wanted me to have something different. So he got me some lessons, and initially I was I was too frustrated to and, and too impatient because it takes time. It takes your fingers have to get hard and all these things but after a while I just started to fall in love with with what I could do with it and how I could because the 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 lyrics are one thing you know but then the music around it all those choices make such a a big difference you know know, um first of all let me thank you for coming in again Uh, because no it you know for for me like I'm such a cynic uh, especially today with the music today and I just posted a, a Layla Hathaway um, piece mm. on my Instagram because, you know, real music today, everything's so synthesized and, and you know, auto-tuned and, and to run into somebody because you don't know what's real and what's not, mm-hmm. right? So meeting you today, watching you do what you're doing right now, uh, I think I'm going to go home and download every single Elvarna. Yeah, no, I promise you, because this is the thing that I'm like, I don't know how today's kids actually get to grow up and appreciate the music that I grew up with. Stevie, right. and all, people who can play, Prince who could play everything. Michael who could sit behind a piano. Aretha who could sit behind a piano and play, even though people didn't know, not just sing opera, but play, because they're true musicians. Go ahead, Elvarna. Oh, she's going to take her ring off, y'all. <laughs> Staring out the window at the rain falling. It's how it feels when you ain't calling Let's make a deal cause I ain't falling Can we keep it real cause I hate stalling Time's ticking ever slowly You could be getting to know me But I left you as a homie Now I'm crying and saying pour me So pour me one more One more, one more, one more I'm thinking about you and drink about you all night for sure Won't you pour me one more One more, one more, one more I'm thinking about you And drink about you Might even hit the dance floor Thinking about you I be drinking about you Might even hit the dance floor Thinking about you I be drinking, drinking I bet you out there somewhere with that girl now You should be over here in my house Kicking your feet up on my couch I could feed you what you need now Sweet love cooks soul food That's what I got up on the menu Crazy how you could have been Who was the best thing for you Baby, pour me one more Yeah, can she get some fake applause, people? Let's go. Let's go, Smiz. Make it happen. All right. El Varner. So it's so wonderful to watch somebody performing their gift, to watch somebody performing their passion. Man, so where are you performing? Where can people see this live? um, Because they got got a little bit of it on the Karen Hunter show. That's nice. I appreciate it. Where can they go in the world to see this? Well, um, I'm going to be... Is this on? Um, yeah, it's on, it's be... on. Don't worry about it. Those headphones right. don't work. Don't I'm, worry. I'm it's on. janky. Everything's janky. Don't worry about it, Elle. We got you. Just talk. I'm going to be <laughs> at SOB's on the 14th. SOB's Valentine's... in New York. Yes. In New York on Valentine's Day. I have two shows. And I have a wide range of songs for every 
level of love, whether you got nobody, <laughs> you got somebody, if you're just out of a breakup, I got a song for that. I have a song for just about everything at this point. And are you on tour? They can go to um, lvarner.com to find Elvarner. out. lvarner.com, yes. I'm adding new dates. I'm finishing up this project right now, so... I will be on a full, full tour very soon. With with some people that we might know. I'm sticking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find yeah. out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Yeah. All right. Are you entangled? Am I entangled? Yes. Are you currently singing these love songs to somebody? Uh, No. No. I'm, this gentleman's like, Boy, why is he smiling? I don't know. All right. I'm, Let me I'm with the Lord at the moment. <laughs> All right. Well, guys. Follow her everywhere. Elvarna yes. is the name. Elvarna.com. Find out where she's going to be performing. She's amazing. Go get Pour Me. Download it. Download it. Download SOBs, it. Yep. Appreciate you, SOBs, on Valentine's Day. We'll be right back.